Okay, what did you enjoy about the live TV unit? I think it was doing something completely different, something that's actually live, doing something that you see it on most TV programmes. So even though some dramas are filmed like behind, but doing the live ones are brilliant. It's so much fun to do. It's stressful but fun. Okay, and how did you feel about working as a class <laughs> rather than as a group or as an individual? It felt very weird. It felt really different because I'm obviously used to working either on my own or in the group. So it was good at the same time, but it was a bit unusual for me. Right, well, you've now passed Unit 10, so well done. Okay, so in terms of research, um, you began by looking at what live TV production is, and this is fairly detailed in terms of the definition, but I think at this stage, although this was just an initial task, I think at this stage you should still be thinking about using more than one source, and this kind of all seems like it's come from the same place, okay? So although if it, even if it's just an initial task where Tracy says, give me a definition, definition of live TV, you know that in order to be sure that, that information is accurate, you should be checking and checking again. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Um, you then moved on to look at an analysis of um, most popular shows each month. And in here, which is just down here, oh, yep. Um, clear finds drawn, but for the large majority of months you cite, this doesn't really mean anything to my idea, because our idea has nothing to do with the talent shows, period dramas, comedy and soap dramas. But what you should have been thinking is about is if these shows are the most popular, like Coronation Street is up here, isn't it, with every single one. It's the most popular on most of the months you looked at, okay? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so yes, you aren't trying to make a soap, okay? You're making a live TV show. But if Coronation Street is the most popular programme throughout the whole year, what might you do? Put in the paper. It'd be something to do with perhaps the some of the... But not the footage, but like the ideas from the camera set up and everything being with the camera. Maybe not camera set up because obviously conventions of soap drama are for soap drama and conventions of, you know, live TV or whatever the programme you're making are, are for that. But yeah. if you know that the, a large amount of the TV population are tuning in at one particular time to watch Coronation Street, what would you be doing? Put it on at that time because that's where you get one of the most popular audiences. Okay. May it, maybe not put it on at that time because then you're going to be competing with Coronation Street, but what could you do at that time? Advertise it. Advertise, okay? So that's the type of analysis that you okay. can draw in there. You should be looking at the bigger picture. Yeah. Okay? Um, I said, I think you struggled to draw conclusions and links to what this actually meant to your show. Yeah. Um, you then later on have Vox Pox. Oh no. Right, now what is wrong with your Vox Pox? It's because I've only used two people, I should have more than two people. Right? Yeah. A vox box is, is a quick method to gain lots and lots of opinion on one subject. Yours is ultimately just one person in a room, you ask the question, job done. That's not a vox box. A vox box is you go out into settings and quickly gauge audience and population opinion on something. Okay? So if you're going to do vox box, I'd be expecting you to leave campus. Okay. Okay? Um, you looked at existing formats, which I think is back up here, yep. Um, and there's a good analysis here of existing formats considering a range of production techniques. Um, there could have been some greater links to your plan and ideas, however. Okay, so I don't know whether maybe you really wasn't sure on your final idea at this point, so that's why the links are quite vague. But there could have been a greater awareness there because in your questionnaire analysis, you are linking findings to outcomes and even being critical of your responses. So your questionnaire shows me that you can do it, but in other parts of the research portfolio, it's you're not linking your findings to, to how that's going to help with your plan. Yeah, I think it was to do with not show, being sure in your final ID. I think that's where my own links are. Then like, that should have been discussed in terms of what that could have meant for an ID okay. in general. Yeah, okay? that's fine. Um, now in terms of being critical... 16 responses in your questionnaire at this stage of the course is no longer good enough, okay? You need to be getting more responses on your questionnaire, Yeah. all right? So be thinking about that distribution method. So if you go online as one method, fine, but you need to be printing it out and distributing that, yeah. okay? Um, and then in the pre-production stage, you put your advertising rate card. Did I not get it right? Which I think is down here. 
Yeah. But what does that mean? I didn't analyse it. Okay, you've I literally just posted a screenshot and that doesn't mean anything. I didn't even okay, Which is very unlike you. There's some parts of your research portfolio which are still at Satisfied Standard because you're not linking what you're talking about to your outcomes, which you did so brilliantly last year. I know. Okay? You need to make sure every time you discuss something, you say what that means to your idea, you say what that means to your research in terms of, because I've done this, now I'm going over here. Okay? Okay. But there was other parts of your research, like your questionnaire analysis, which was more of a high standard in terms of what I'm used to. Yeah. But it's not consistent across the no. board. So if I had to give you a grade, it would still be at a pass because it's not consistent enough. That's absolutely fine. Okay? Yeah. So we need to make sure that there's greater depth to research sources. You're not just using the internet. Okay? Now you've done that essay, you can see that there's lots of other avenues that you can go down. Yeah. Okay? Continue to critique your role as a researcher throughout all of your research. Okay? But most importantly, as I've emphasised this morning, better plan primary research. You have to step outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, okay. Fine. And Vox Pox with two students in your class in the classroom next door isn't good enough. Okay. You need to be thinking about interviews, timely planned interviews, detailed interviews. Okay. Questionnaires, great, but with lots more respondents. Okay. And thinking about that distribution method. Okay. okay. And not doing that tick box approach. I've done one questionnaire tick. Okay, you may need to do several questionnaires. If you find us something out in your secondary research, you might need to do a questionnaire to clarify that. Okay, okay does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? Okay, in terms of um, pre-production and production then, um, in your role of a camera person, your initial task was to use allocated camera um, and aid in blocking out, use an allocated camera and aid in blocking out each section of the show. This involved the presenter standing their positions for each item and you marking the position of your camera on the studio floor. Once it's completed and rehearsals began, your next task was to learn the functions of the camera whilst moving it fluidly into position around the studio. At this stage, you were able to create your camera script. Your camera script um, has your camera script you've uploaded to your website is the wrong document. Okay. okay, so you need to make sure that the document you've uploaded is actually the document that you want us to look at. Um, is it this one? Yeah. Yeah? So Tracy obviously saw your um, document anyway, but as I keep saying to you, it's what's on your website that's important. And she said you've uploaded, uploaded the wrong one. I think I can see what she is now. Yeah? So make sure you check, check and check again, all right? Um, she said you took to the role very well and your confidence grew as rehearsals went along. You also developed your listening skills as your role involved you wearing a communication headset linked to the director. He was verbally giving you directions and you were quick to respond and adjust your shot accordingly, so well done. This unit has given you the opportunity to work on your camera production techniques, which has been a target set for you. It has definitely helped, and throughout your rehearsals, you could see you gaining confidence when receiving instructions from the gallery. You responded quickly and became more fluid with your camera movements. Um, your edit of the show itself contains some of the code conventions of live TV genre. You were limited in what you could do with the footage, but you have managed to piece together a full-length show. There are issues with your audio in that you're syncing for the live band performances out. A small adjustment would improve your edit. You also need to rescale your frame size for your top 10 countdown. Each clip is tiny on the screen. Okay. okay. Do you know how to frame size? No. Okay, so you need to make sure that every single clip in Premiere Pro, you've right clicked and it to frame size. Okay. Okay. Um, so Tracy was pleased that the planning and production element um, that you executed in live TV was at a high standard. Okay. In terms of evaluation, um, oh, let's go back to your website. Think about the navigation of your website while we're here. Okay, see how I wanted to go to post production, I had to go all the way back to home. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have on this page would take me home, the page before would take me here. The page before that would take me to pre-production. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Um, good use of examples in your diaries. You take us through the entire process and outcomes are justified um, 
by actions and how they were problem solved. So really well done. Good use of examples and identification of areas um, of improvement in both your pitch and overall evaluation. So I think your evaluative work is at a high standard, so well done, okay? In terms of moving forward, because what we've got to do now is make sure that it's not just of a high standard, because it was of a high standard in year one, so make sure that we continue improving that. You need to make sure that you make comparisons between your work and professionals' examples. And what I mean by that is not just saying, I don't think this meets professional standards because um, they have better technology or because um, my audio is out or whatever it might be. Actually compare it to real examples. So in your primary research, secondary research, sorry, you analysed existing TV examples. So in your evaluation, go back to them. So if you said that they particularly did this well, does that make your show not professional because you haven't done that so well? And literally draw on that okay. example. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Um, you also, when you're talking about areas to improve, set yourself specific examples. So what can you do to improve your after effects skills, for example? What can you do to improve your camera skills? Physically, what does that look like in terms of a target? Yeah. Okay. Look, looking at videos on YouTube, seeing the tutorials. Yeah. Okay. Experimenting, etc. Yeah. Okay, but write that. Yes. Right. And the only other thing is just to think about presentation. So anything that's uploaded needs to be make sure it's the correct document and the navigation of your website. So it, we've got no deaf by scrolling now, which is great. But on each page, if I'm on research, let me have a button that takes me to pre-production. If I'm on pre-production, give me a button that takes me to production, yeah. okay? Do that now for unit 12, so you know you won't forget. And then for FMP, we have that nice cycle between the two, okay? Yeah, that's fine. You need to make sure that for your research, everything you find out refers back to your idea. How is what you're gonna do in now going to help you conduct a better interview okay, okay? how is going to help you create a documentary okay how has that led you to your next research source okay is that research source good enough is it valid is your research method good enough if it's not pull yourself apart okay when you've done one method of primary research do you need to do another one just because you've done one questionnaire doesn't mean you can't do another one okay does that make sense yes you sure yeah